All right. Hello, hello. It is me. I am here. We're doing things today. How's everyone doing? It's a Wednesday night. We are straight up chilling. How is the volume? Please. Thank you for the hydrate. I am having a Christmas ale. It's pretty good. It's pretty light. It's not very heavy. Ah, delicious. All right. So, hey yo. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, hi, hi. I am doing a little, little multi build tonight. Um, Cause I'm going to West Virginia this weekend for the Novel Keys meetup. So I'm gonna probably plan to bring like three of my boards and then I'm gonna have my partner bring another two for a total of five boards. Yeah, it'll be really fun. It'll be the second meetup that I've that I've been to. So I went to um, I went to like the Philly meetup last year, and that was a lot of fun. So the three boards that I'm thinking of bringing, sort of like the highlights, um, the Space sixty five that I built the last stream, uh, probably my portal, and then my Mister Suit black chroma which is hanging on the walls right now and then the the two other ones that i'm thinking of bringing is the mino this little 40 percent that i have to build um kind of a cute little cute little board um and then maybe the quasi alice by q Lavier. um and they'll probably have Haley because my partner is coming with me Hey Trade, how are you? Um, <clears throat> Cause I think we're maxed out at three per person. No, <laughs> no, why? Um, yeah, so I think that's the plan for tonight. I'm probably just gonna make sure I have the switches that I want on the boards, tune them if I have to tune them. And all that, all that fun stuff. So, hi Thrash, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Um, I think the easiest boards that I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna start with these two, just because I don't have to take anything apart. I mean, I kind of do, but I was gonna um get the keys or the keycaps switched out because these two are soldered. These two are my only soldered boards. Um, a sus circle. Hi, Joyce. Wow, all the homies are here tonight. How are you doing, Joyce? Um, Cause I want to take these, I want to take the milkshake off and put it on the Mino cause I feel like that's appropriate. And I don't know what to put on this. And I, I kind of want to keep Polybius on here. But I also want to put it on my Mr. Suit. So that's my problem. Need the weekend to come faster? Honestly, same. I'm here, so does that mean I'm a homie now? Yeah, of course, man. Absolutely. Everyone who's here is a homie. I'm good. I'm other 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 than that. I'm pretty good. Uh, work has been pretty good. It's been busy, wrapping up my uh, last two weeks. So things are going well. It's I'm very happy. Um. So I do want to take the caps off of these. I do want to transfer this over to the Mino. I guess I, I just for simplicity's sake, I might build the Mino, and then just put transfer the caps from here onto the Mino. New job in the works? Yes, actually. So the job that I work now, um, 
I realize that I'm being overworked and underpaid. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. So I uh, started looking for new jobs and I, um, I'm i gonna be doing industrial design for my one friend. Uh, they do a lot of like custom metal and like glass partitions for like high-end offices. And they've installed all over like Philly, New York, Boston, that whole area. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing a lot of in-house design for them. Hopefully I get to go on a couple of installs, travel a little bit. So it's exciting and I'll be, I'll be getting paid, I think the correct amount this time. So yeah, congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's definitely been a long time coming because um, I mean I've been with this job for almost five years now and I haven't really gotten a pay increase. <sighs> Casey, when you hear me come true, we get money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I start um I start the Monday after Thanksgiving. So everything's gonna get wrapped up. Yay, thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. No more slaving away. Yeah, and like, cause, so I work at my full-time job and I'm also working for, um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I work for a certain tech brand. Uh, you could probably guess what that is. Uh, the fruit stand on the weekends and so with this job, I actually won't have to work on the weekends anymore. So I will actually be able to spend weekends with my partner and actually like help out around the house and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. Spend it all on even more expensive keyboards. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Tech company just took a hit today. I saw that. I was, I was checking, I was actually checking my, uh, uh, I got confused. Uh, sorry, I got <laughs> I got distracted because this is a good song. Um, cause I get stock options for my, uh, for my part-time job and I checked the stocks today and not looking good. A lot of companies blowed off 15% of their companies today. Yeah, it's definitely really strange. I don't exactly know why. I wonder if it has to do with, um, like Twitter. I, I have a feeling it probably has something to do with Twitter, um, but oh well. Yeah, not really quite sure why, but we out here. Um, okay, so I think I'm just gonna really quickly put some switches in the Mino. So the switches that I have laying around, so I have, all right, hold on. I have like also like way too many switches, so my place hired a person today. Interesting. Yeah, there's a bunch of like different things going on. Really not quite sure what's going on, but okay. So I have let me put this off to the side before I get distracted. I'm like already distracted by like the seven things that I have going on. I also need to clean my desk. Can one of you guys like yell at me every like hour to tell me to clean my desk, please? Cause I will not clean my desk unless I'm like being told actively to do it. Twitter and Facebook are just adverts. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't know how the proceedings at Twitter affect Facebook and all that, but I'm sure there's a lot of reasons as far as why so this is all the same. So I do have some switch options. Um, I just don't know how to keep these bits with me. <sighs> Platinum's company and I just got the last pass the last interview to find out that they're freezing until January. Oh no, dude, that's the worst. I was in the middle of interviewing uh, for this one like brand consultant uh, out in Boston and they were like, oh, actually just kidding, we're not hiring until January. And I was like, well, I just spent all this time for nothing. So I, I get how you feel. It's, it doesn't feel good, you know? It does not feel good. I am sorry to hear that, these are both. That is doo doo cheeks. Um. 
I don't know if I have the right bit for this. I pro it's probably in here somewhere. Is it this one? It is. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's super tough. I'm sorry to hear. It's really upsetting. I would be super upset too. Um. Okay, so I have a couple of switch options. I have box pinks, gat box pinks. I have zakus. I have 80 gram lavender switches, which I think would look nice with this, but 80 grams is very heavy. I actually uh, spring swap those for my partner because they're a really heavy typer. And I just, I never swap them back. Zakus, yeah. 80 gram, dude, I know. I want to wait though to see. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Like if they see something in you, like hopefully that'll give you a better chance, but I know 80 gram is that crazy. My partner like, bah, 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 bah. And I'm like, okay, you good? No, they're, they're just a heavy typer. I think I have the KTT Mallows in their board right now. I, they just have a uh, KBD 67 light round two, I think. So a little, little tiny board for them to work. I had to put one place off my hiring for like four months, worked out though. Oh, whoa, that is a pretty long time. 55 gram long springs. You know, I've only ever worked with uh, dual stage springs. I've never worked with, I've never tried typing on like triple stage or anything like that. It would be interesting to see how it feels and just compare. Um, okay, if I remember how to do this. Okay, uh, <laughs> I have too many things to do. Okay, Gap, Box Pinks, Zaku's, 80 gram lavenders, Doja Contours I haven't used in a while, and strawberry milk, like the first edition of strawberry milk switches. So I know that these two are long pole. This is not. I'm just gonna put it all in and see what I like, I guess. And then we'll sort of make a decision from there. I have to take all this out. Boop, boop, boop. Can you guys see that better? Okay. I might put the 80 gram in just like just to like surprise some people. They're like, what is wrong with you? It's not me, it's Haley. Okay. Yeah, the Mino is a very, very cute board. I, uh, I did use it for a while, and then I had to really, like, think about where my numbers are, because I use the Numro so often. So it didn't really end up working all too well for me, but... Um, okay, let's see. Foam pads for the Thok. It actually, this board doesn't sound bad. It really doesn't. Um, sorry, I'm like doing this probably like the worst way to put in switches right now. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't sound too bad. I'm very surprised with how how well it sounds. Uh, this will do strawberry milk. Another long pole in the middle here. Zaku's lavenders, and then the Dojacon. So Dojacons are just. I mean, they're just JWK recolors, I think. So I have a pretty good idea. Oh, oops, forgot that I have to get this. There we go. So yeah, like I don't have any foam under it or anything like that besides the, like the PE sheets. Bring this down a little bit. Yeah, hopefully something like that works out for you. Alright. So the Zaku's are more clacky for sure. Yeah, not the Dojacons. I don't think I want the Dojacons in here. I think I really just kept the Dojacons because of the colorway. I haven't really put them in anything. Yeah, this is heavy. 
I don't like the Zaku's on here. The milks are pretty good if I wanted a long pole. Cause I have, I have meteor whites in here, which I'm not gonna take out. Cause I'm not planning on putting PE foam in this. I think I have the dampening foam and just the plate foam. I might slide another piece of foam inside, but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna take time to put the PE foam back in. Cause I don't, cause it's everything's just gonna sound the same. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick with the, I think I want to stick with the strawberry milks because I think the strawberry milks sound pretty good. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, done. Easy. Easy. All right, let me put this back real quick. So that worked out pretty well, actually. I like had an idea. I was like, I kind of want to put the strawberry milks in, but like I want to wait to see like how I felt about how the other switches sounded. But I do, I do like the strawberry milks. Where am I based? So I'm actually I'm in like the Lancaster area. So like if you know where Philly is, I'm about an hour or so uh, west. Of Philadelphia and I'm gonna be so with this new job I'm going to be relocating to like Westchester maybe so halfway point between where I am now and Philly because the job is close to like the Philly Airport and it's like one of those that I have to be in the office every day for so what about you, Key Circle? I don't remember if it was in your bio or not. Jealous of East Coasters? Oh. Why? Just move here, easy. I feel like there's so many Keebers in like New York and Cali. Oh, you're in Texas? Oh no, I feel bad for your state considering that uh, What's-His-Face got re-elected. Very concerned about the future of that state. <laughs> I mean, it's a good day for, it's a good day to be in Pennsylvania, that's for sure. Um, I mean, how do you, <laughs> it's a bad moment, yeah. I mean, I've heard some good things, ooh, that's loud. I've heard some good things about uh, Dallas. I have a friend that lives there and she really likes it there. But I'd like to, I'd like to visit. I think I've been to like Austin at some point in my life. I don't remember when it was, but I remember um, in Austin. This is the darkest timeline, it really is. Oh my God. Yeah, I was just like, I was kind of following last night, but not really. I was mostly really just focused on uh, my state, but yeah, when I saw that this morning on Twitter, I was like, mm-mm, no, bad, bad times. It's like, you guys in Florida have like the worst times. That's unfortunate though. Have you considered not living in Texas? Just, uh, just a thought. It sucks here, it really does, John. Hello, welcome. Why aren't you off playing COD with the boys? I got a house here, so I'm stuck. Oh no. See, life lesson, never buy a house. Not now with the market. No, sir. I am playing COD. Ah, okay. Abandoning your friends to talk to me. Mm hmm I keep neglecting like my commands in chat. I feel like I need I feel like I need someone to help me with that. Texas got me fucked up, dude. 
True. It is. It is a bad time. It's a bad time. <gasps> what? Hello? Bearded Bob with a raid? Oh my god. Hello? That is amazing. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my god. Potatoes, thanks for the follow. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I need to remember to do my shoutouts because I'm really bad at that. Hold on, I need to shout you out. I gotta shout out. Oh my god. There's too many things happening. Thank you guys for the follows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dirty Dorito, thank you. Uh, Yoke, thank you for the follow. Hi, welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate and thank you for the stretch. I'm gonna get up and stretch. Ugh, congrats on 200. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot we hit 200, guys. 200 follows in my little, little inconsistent stream. For those of you that are just coming in, um, I'm Chiff or Chiffy. Um, I started building keyboards back in May of 2020, and I started streaming uh, December of last year. So um, I work two sort of full-time, part-time jobs, so streaming isn't really a huge priority for me, but it is really cool to see sort of these milestones. So I really appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. Um, Captain, thank you for the follow. Bow Fender, thank you, thank you. Aw, oh, guys, welcome in. That's really nice, Bob. Thank you so much. How was your stream? What did you guys do? Hi, Sean. You came in, like, at the right time. <laughs> Hope you get to stream more now. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. With my, with my new job ramping up, um, and more time on the on the weekends hopefully i can stream a little bit more consistently um but again like it's really not a big priority for me like it's it's more so like something that i like to do for fun um but yeah i'll definitely have more have more chances to stream more often for sure congrats on the new job thank you thanks sean appreciate you sean you're not going to novel keys right? It might be a little too far for you. Um, but yeah, guys, I am just prepping some boards for the Novel Keys meetup this weekend. So tune in, hang tight. Feel free to just put me on the background. Feel free to chat. It's a very relaxed, chill environment that I like to foster here. So yeah, welcome in and I hope you stay. West Virginia is too far from New York. That's true. Yeah, it did. It it did take you a minute to get to Philly too. I remember the last time. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean it is kind of close where from where I am. Like it's about a four hour drive, so it's not terrible. Gaming with the boys. Hell yeah, Key Circle. What are you playing? We're probably gonna leave like super early morning of and get there either by the time it starts or right after it starts because like no one shows up to a party on time so like i'm trying to you know blend in a little bit it took me a long time to get to philly because of the damn traffic true yeah the traffic is unbearable in both new york and philly philly traffic sucks 76 nope no thanks i'd rather take local roads takes like an hour and a half more but it's worth it. I have to wipe this off. All my fingerprints are on here. Um, but yeah, um, so Haley and I are going, my partner. Um, so I'm going to be bringing three of my quote unquote nicer boards. And then I think Haley's going to bring the Mino and maybe the quasi Alice. Playing some Apex? Ooh, Apex Gamer? I haven't played Apex in literal years. Everyone usually shows up like two hours after it starts. I know, I don't I don't wanna be like the first one there, but I also don't wanna be like super late, you know? 
Um, so here is like the one problem that I'm having with Amino. And I haven't reached out to Shandon about this yet. But when you tighten this screw particularly, it pushes up. It pushes up this standoff for like the feet and it actually causes this switch to lift up from the right side. So like when you put the keycaps on, it looks really weird. Usually have to secure your spot though, own that table. I know, listen, especially with me and Haley, like we're just gonna get like the best location of the table and just sit there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, see, like, I don't know why. Like, I've tried so many things to, like, take the feet off. Like, this looks really weird right now, so I don't really know why. This is something that I've been troubleshooting for, like, a hot minute now, and I, and I don't really get... Because, like, I also don't want to untighten the feet and, like... But like it's really lifting up from the right side here shorter screw you know i thought about that and these are the longest ones so like one two three four for the feet are the longest screws in the board and i don't think i don't think this is also, I like your username, Soups Up. Love that. I love soup. Um, these are these should be the regular case screws. Yeah, they're the same length. So and like I don't have an issue. Well, now I do. It's like when I tighten everything around it, it pushes this switch up. And I think it used to do it to one of these too, but this one specifically had an issue. <laughs> Hmm. Moons, hello, thank you for the follow. Because it's, it's also like holding everything together, so I also don't want to like... Loosen it too much. Like I've opened it up and I've tried to see like why. But I think it, I think it has something to do with this very bottom screw here. So I'm gonna put this in and see. I mean, it's probably fine. Like I just have to make sure that I don't like over tighten it. And plus it being acrylic is probably. Like that's still sitting up a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was before. Wait, the screws are the feet? I mean, yeah. I know, I don't know. I. When I built this, I did have some improvements slash opinions on it, but I mean, yeah, just the, the problem with the switch is like the biggest issue for me because it really screws up how the keycaps look. And like, I, I remember when I first built it, um, I was trying to figure this out. My desk just says no. I know, that's why like, even if I have like, a, like a desk pad on it. I like don't want to like do this on it because I feel like it's just gonna destroy the desk mat Captain I want to build a Wooting 60 HE, but they only sell it pre-built I don't see five PCB and switches, but they don't sell them alone Have you thought about any other PCBs other than that? <laughs> um, Isn't that just a Let me see uses hall effect switches. I don't know if I'm familiar with that. Analog input. Oh, I see. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That does make sense. Hmm. Yeah, I've never used analog switches, but this seems super interesting. I mean, you would all you always could just buy the whole thing. 
Might be transition transitioning from TKL. Probably want a stick or a macro pad for function keys. Yeah, like TKLs are nice and all, but like that's the 65% and 60% just sit too well on, on my desk. Um yeah, but yeah, definitely a macro pad would definitely be helpful for that. They said they're gonna sell the switches separately at some point, but no dates have been announced. Hmm. <laughs> Key circle. No, I know the, the analog concept is really cool. Um I mean that's probably sort of the appeal of it, right? I don't wanna over tighten these. Gatoron mix them, so I imagine there's a time limited exclusivity deal in place. Yeah. I've got the space for a TKL, so I'm honestly fine with it. Just get a stream deck if you want macro key is probably your best solution. That's the thing with like the stream deck is like the stream deck is so expensive. Hi Bold One, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Um Like it's nice with and you I don't think you have to like have your own scripts for it but having like a small macro pad like something like this would be really nice too and i mean i say that but like i also don't use this as often as i would like to i really just use it for volume control and muting myself but i mean this was also made by a company that was like oh we declared bankruptcy while there were like three group buys going on <laughs> so anyway Current keyboard uses Hall effect switches. Anyways, but it's not analog, unfortunately, just one only adjustable actuation. Hmm. Maybe you might just have to wait until it, they come out with just the switches and the PCB then, if you don't want to buy the whole board and then have to like reassemble it if you want to use like different keycaps and whatnot. God, the fingerprints on this is atrocious. We're just gonna pretend that we didn't see this, okay? okay. Yeah, my, cause like I get cold and I wanna like put lotion on my hands and then I like get hot and then I sweat. So it's just like a really fun time for everyone. Um, oh, this has a lot of dust on it. I should probably clean that. Pre-orders are annoying too. Yeah, it, it can be. Honestly, worse than a group buy because they don't even have estimated dates. Oh no. That's, hmm, I wouldn't. That doesn't sound very uh, secure. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna harvest the uh, these guys and put them on the Mino. Gave up clearing my Fuji 65 since I don't look at the shiny bottom often. Oh. Oh? Sean? Some guys have been waiting since August and others already have it. It's mostly just a time frame, I guess. Yeah, that is really- that's also, like, really crappy to, like, have it be a pre-order, but then, like, some people already having it. Nice. And their other keyboards are made to order? Huh. Interesting. It's a delayed rollout. Yeah, that model doesn't sit right with me. That sounds so good. <gasps> Thank you! It's the- it's really the switches. I'm really not doing anything. I just put the little things on and I sort of roll with it. Um, thanks, Sean. I wish I liked 60 up uh, 60. I wish I liked 40% more. I wish I didn't rely on my num row for everything. My mouse did it too actually and helped them catch issues with it early on in production. Well, that's good that they're responsive to like issues like that, you know. I have to remember what keys I use for this. Yeah, see like the spacing gets really weird because because that one that one switch is like pushed up, so it makes it look really janky. And I promise it's not, it's just... I just know someone's gonna look at it and be like, what the hell is wrong with your eye? And I'm like, I don't know. It's not my fault I didn't do it. Well, 
what every password requires, uppercase, special character, and a number. Yeah, really. That's always how it goes. Um, hello? You good? Interesting. Different company and I already own a Pulsar mouse. Hmm. Interesting. I am doing this right, right? I am doing this right. Okay. I was like, hmm. One of my friends used a 40 to code, bro. That is big brain. I can't even remember. I have to like one, two, three, four, five. And then I have to look at this keyboard to see, oh, percent is this one. Like, I, my brain doesn't work like that. My brain too small. Small brain. It's too much for me. I can't remember all of that. Okay. And I can barely type to begin with as it is. So how am I supposed to click clack on this? But yeah, that is a, that's a big brain move right there. So now the biggest question is what keycaps should I put on all my other boards? Hmm. I should probably, I'm gonna open up my own website because I forgot what keys I put. I think there's practicality in small boards and then there's too small. No, the small boards, yeah, no, the small boards are nice. Um, did I not put the Mino on here? Hello? Oh my God. Um, yes, there's definitely really nice features and benefits of a 40%, but like, come on, dude, like, <laughs> if you can tell me how to do an exclamation point followed by like 923, like I would have to like really look for it, you know, like I can't, that's just, that's too powerful. That's too powerful. Okay. So I have that, I have this. And then I just have this on here. All right, I guess that's fine. I guess it also doesn't really matter because it's not like I'm gonna be typing on it. But I still wanna make it look like I use it, if that makes sense, you know? So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. 1% keyboard, oh my God. I, mm, that's too much, too, too much brain power for me. And M types in Morse code. Oh my God, don't even. That is funny. Push it and straight reads your brain waves. Oh my God. That's coming out in 2024, big brain moves. Okay, so I need a bunch of, so I can retire a bunch of these. I do want to put this one here because it's very cute. I like that. Good choice. Do you want to use a banana? I like the banana. Okay, let me get the other keys. DSA milkshake. Okay. So. this in for now because I need to make sure that I'm not missing anything. The Stack Overflow Copy Paste Keyboard, oh my god. True. Okay. Uh, let me open this. So we'll do this and then we'll put keycaps on the quasi Alice and then we'll do the portal, Mr. Suit, and then the space 65.
I also have to put some of these keys away. It's just gonna be a lot of organizing, so just bear with me while I figure this out. Um, okay. I like don't have enough room on my desk for this. So it's just gonna be a nightmare until I can figure this out. Do I have... No, I'm gonna have to use... Actually, I might have... Do I have the right length? No, this is a 2U. I need a 2.25, okay. Hmm, I really thought that I was gonna have the right, like, space bars for this, but I guess I don't. I really don't. I really thought that I did. Hmm. Alright. Let's get these in here. Have you seen Zach Freeman's Mirage MK3? I have not. I don't I know I don't know if I'm familiar with that. What's the right space bar? Right space bar is a 2.75. No, 2.5. It should be a 2.75. This is the wrong one, actually. Yeah, it uses a standard right shift. Yeah, it is a little bit difficult to try to find space bars for these. Yeah, I right? I'm not talking out my ass on this one, right? Hold on. Let me put this on and then we'll see. Yeah, because this is a 1U, which I do have. Ooh. Pink. Right, and then this one is, yeah, it does that, okay. Okay, and then I want to put some colorful mods on the sides. Triple space bar, I know. I think this one... I had it as my layer key. I don't remember, but yeah. Nope, that's too long. Put that back. This one goes like that. For the person with an extra thumb on their left hand, wait, you? You have an extra thumb? Tell me more about that. All right, I got two purples, two blues. I think that'll work out fine. Cause we like symmetry here. So we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do A little bit on this. And then left shift is gonna be. Is this. Hold on. Nope, that's still too short. And then the regular tab should work. No, too long. Don't you love it when you know your sizes? Because I sure love that. Okay, that's good. I don't want that there. Something else there. Mm, what should I have up there? One of them is longer, and obviously if you have three thumbs, you'll need a third space bar. Yeah. This middle one I programmed to something, though, if I were to use it. Put this back. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to put there? Do this. Hmm. 
One day I'll pull them out without pulling the switches. Should I do this? Yeah, that's fine. I like that. And then I want yellow. Oh, banana. Two bananas here. Maximum bananas. That's the rage quick key. Pop! Alright. Very small, very cute. That eye is janky. It is not my fault. Do a little... Little one of these. Yeah, the two of are gonna be pretty, pretty good. I'm not worried about the tuning of that. Okay, so that's one, done, all right. I'm gonna take some time, cause I do wanna get organized. So I'm just gonna take some of these off. I'm gonna take some of my artisans off too. Um, that goes at the very bottom. So I'll take this out. Um, up here. I think everything else. Why is one of the artisans just a metal triangle? Oh, the pyramid. It's the squeaky, squeaky. Yes, it's just the triangle. I, no reason. It's just there. <laughs> I don't remember. Was it Quarry? Quarry Keys, I think, that did the squeaky. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Wait, I do have the space bars. They're on my Alice. I was like, I don't want to use shifts. I'm, I'm more professional than that, I think. That's for the numpad, which I don't have. I do. It's right here. Okay. So that's fine. I was like, where are all the extra keys? It's because it's on my numpad. Okay, that's fine. I'm like thinking out loud always. All right, that's there. Put that back. Big shift. Goes back in the regular one. This B can go back. I'm gonna put the B here because that's the extra B. This shift belongs here. It doesn't fit in the regular one. Okay, I am gonna put these two space bars on the Mina though, actually, now that I think about it. Hi, Fuzz! How are you? Oh my god. Did you decide what board you're taking it? That's what I'm doing tonight, actually. I am... I think I've settled on five. Three for me, two from, from Haley. Um, Haley's gonna take the quasi-Alice and the Mino, which I know you want to see. Um, and I'm going to take my portal... my portal, my space 65, and my Mr. Suit that I'm, I'm just gonna put like different caps on them and clean them up and get them ready to travel. So what am I doing? Fuzz is here, it's game over, it's degen time. Oh my God. Portal is very nice. Yeah, portal is very nice. I know I lurk all the time. I like really never chat because I feel like I type too slow and then by the time I come up with something it like the moments pass, you know It's kind of sad, but like it's just my curse, I guess <laughs> That's how yeah Case looked hella nice too, dude. I I love my portal so much. I love the whipped creams. Oh my god, the whipped creams are so good. 
They sound so good now because I've used them for a couple of months and they're actually like, they actually feel dummy smooth. Streams keyboard builds type slow. Listen, I, I did not grow up in the United States. So I did not have access to typing until probably like middle school. And say what you will, I did learn the hell out of those programs. I'm just really bad at it. Like I can't, like I have to look at my keyboard when I'm typing. Like there's a couple of things that I can be really fast about, but if it's like a new word that I've never typed before, I'd have to look at my board. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna replace this with a little, we're missing some green. I'm gonna put a little green guy here. I'm gonna put a little lime. It's lime time. Ooh, cute. All right, one board is done. Everything else goes on to the first layer. So I'm gonna put this away, stack it up. Oh boy. I actually learned to type in Twitch chat. <laughs> Worked in IT for 15 years. I was one-handed touch type while I was doing something else regularly. That's crazy to me. I, yeah, I can barely type. So take that how you will. But I do not know how to type. I'm just like, what is this? How do you do that? No idea. Um, Fuzz, what are you bringing? Do you know yet? Or are you going to let it be a surprise? I only learned how to type because of this rectangle hobby. Honestly, yeah. Does that go up there? No, it doesn't. I was like, hello? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. Okay. There we go. I'm still not sure. How many, Fuzz, how many boards do you have right now? I feel like, I feel like you have a lot. But I don't deserve nice boards, I break them a lot. Why break them? No breaking, not allowed. W1 for sure, yes. Other than that, I don't, no, I don't really have anything that's interesting. I mean, you have to, ha you have to hand boards, brother. <sighs> I actually haven't done a full count of the boards that I have yet, so I can't really talk. <laughs> um, they don't really, I mean, I don't like, I don't think, here's my take on like keyboards that you bring, right? Like, yes, it's cool if they're like unique and whatnot, but like, if they're done well and like if you like them and you have like a real passion for them then like i would just say bring it you know like i my portal is my portal like i have some whipped creams in there you know i'm gonna bring my mr suit you know i just i just really like them like they're not they're not super special or anything but like i like them so i'm gonna bring them you know all right, portal, mode 65 times, you have two mode 65s, stack TKL, KBD 67 light, NK67 milkshake, GK61, W1, and QK65. I would be interested in seeing the QK65 and the mode, well, maybe and, maybe and the mode, because I haven't really typed on a mode or a QK65. I do have the suit, so I feel like I have a good idea of what the 65, the QK65 feels like, you know? Not everyone who goes owns high end stuff. Exactly, yeah. Just bring whatever you think is, you know, cool to you, you know? QK65 isn't built. Well, you better build it, brother. Guess I gotta stream? Yeah, get out of here. Get out of my chat and go stream. <laughs> In both elementary and middle school, they tried to teach typing, but all the typing classes and stuff just didn't work, so I watched. So I typed it like one word per minute. No, eventually I spent a summer on Twitch talking to people and learned to type because chat moves so fast. That's a good motivation to learn how to type. For sure. That is, that's a, I mean, Twitch chat, you know how it is, but 
Last three boards, the four key is screwed, and I just can't be bothered to solder in a new switch, so I buy another. Um, so, I don't know if you know this. I could probably fix that for you. Um, let me know, hit me up. I do, I do not have a desoldering gun, but I could probably desolder that for you. That sounds pretty easy, and it gives me content, so let me know. Um, hit me up on Instagram, chiffy underscore, uh, underscore lube. Let me know. I could probably fix it for you. Honestly, it was completely accidental, but like, that's like the best though, you know, when it's like a complete accident. Like, who knew that this would happen? No one. And yet, here we are. My typing class was on a Selectric? What? Maybe tomorrow I got time. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to put on. So like, here's the struggle, right? Like, this is the only board that I think I'm limited. Cause I, I, I wanna use real space bars. But like, do I care that much? No. I could just put a regular set on here and just use the shifts as my space bars. I could get Bob to fix it. He's in the UK like me, so it would be easier than shipping it to the States. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. You know, sometimes I forget that like people that watch me are like from all over the world and not like right next to me. Like, I feel like my partner makes like 17 fake accounts and like talks to me. <laughs> so. <laughs> Upside down shift space bar. Upside down shift better than space bar. Hmm. Good point. Good point. Oh, and that's the other thing too. I also want to bring artisans. But like, I don't really have any cool artisan like trays. I have this like little 3D printed thing. So I don't want to bring that. One of my friends can type 165. Jesus. He doesn't even use the home row? That's insane. We're all your partners. I know you guys are all my partners, correct. Though after what Bob did to that mouse tonight, I'm weary. Oh no. No, not the mouse. What <laughs> it's not my fault. You gotta be ready for this. I'm just I'm just considering all my options, you know? At least you have a nest, so I'm late, but I'm here still looking for something for you to build. The indecisiveness is painful. Of course, Harrison, take as much time as you need. Honestly. Like, I I just want to make sure you want what you want. I'm not going to rush you into buying something and, you know, have it be, oh, just kidding, I don't like it. You know? So yeah, take your time. Welcome in. That ditto is awesome. Dude, I love, I love my dittos. Like, I, so the one... The one that I won during the Philly meetup, I haven't mounted I haven't mounted this yet. But I think it's so cool. I think it's super unique. That was really really fun to fun to win, but this one is my favorite. The pale pink ditto. I think this is the it was Jigglypuff, I think. I've never seen a ditto. Fuzz, come on. Yeah, this is the OG colorway. Oh, my hands are getting really nasty. I kinda, I'm gonna go wash my hands probably, but. Okay, so, while I go wash my hands, I have, for this keyboard, cause I feel like, I don't know, I'm like, again, really indecisive, okay. I have, okay, also no one told me that I pronounced, is it Pol Polybius? Apparently I was pronouncing that wrong and no one told me and I looked like an idiot. So thank you for that. Is it Polybius? Cause I've been saying Polybus, which makes sense to me, but there is an extra I in there. So I don't know where that went. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know what I want to put on this. Polybius is my favorite game. I didn't know, it was, is it based off of a game? I just really like the 80s carpet theme. Really, very, very into it. Really, really like it. 
I... I don't know, I kind of really want to put Polybius on here. But I also don't know what else to put on my portal. Like, I could put Notion, like, Notion would look good on this. I, I don't own that many key sets, just bear with me. I do want to keep the pink Hangul on here because it does fit with the pink theme very well. Um, and I have to figure out what I want to put on my Mr. Suit. So I have, I have a black on white set. I have, um, I have Kalmomo that I want to use. Actually, Kalmomo might look really good on this. I think I'm going to put Kalmomo on here. Because I haven't put that on anything in a while. Damn, that's Space 65. Dude, if my hands weren't cursed, I would, I mean, <laughs> shit, I'll just pick it up. Dude, I'm so happy with it. I got a pink badge, black, and a um, gold badge. Cause like, you know, they're safe colors. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy. And I think we were talking like this is my, uh, one of my full circle moments, you know? Okay, I am going to go wash my hands and then we'll put caps on this, decide what artisans we want to put on and that's board number two. And then the portal, I think I'll keep Polybius on there. And I'll think, I think I'll put the um, black and white on my Mr. Suit. Because that, that's a classic look, okay? Blackboard, black and white caps. Okay, cool. I'm going to go wash my hands because they're really gross. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I forgot, I do have matcha. I do have matcha, but the only boards that I can put them on, I mean, at this point, the only board that I can put them on is my Mr. Suit because that has stepped and regular caps because, because <sighs> when I bought matcha, no one told me, and then maybe I should have just done more research. But I didn't realize that it didn't have step caps in it. And like, the only, like I found out later that they're doing a round two of matcha that will have step caps. So like, I bought the round one caps. And I don't really, I don't really want to mount them. Cause like, I don't know. It's just, I'm just like kicking myself because like, I bought them without realizing. Cause like, I do religiously use step caps. Um. So it doesn't feel great when a set doesn't have step caps. So they're sitting in my in my little storage thing. Um, 
They haven't been mounted. I don't know if I should use them. Like, should I put them on my Mr. Suit? I don't know, I, I do like the black and white of them. Cause I was gonna put, so. I was gonna put this on my Mr. Suit. And I was gonna put this on my Alice. What are you doing, step caps, brother? This is real degen hours. I'm really just griping because I didn't read and I bought into the hype of that, so. All right, I'm gonna put Komomo on. So this has quartz switches on a copper plate. Yes, copper plate, um, very neat. I did build this on stream, I think, yeah. And I think I was having issues with the reset switch, but I just uh, took it off of the board itself, so. Um, there are some fingerprints in there. It has patinaed a little bit, but it looks really nice. I got banana, banana splits. I got a, whatever this is called, a BCP on my enters and space, space bars. I just, I really like the sound of this board. I, I love, 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 love this board. Okay. Let me put some stuff away. Okay, so yeah, I think Komomo will look good on here. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I haven't put this set on anything in a minute, so. I'm actually kind of excited because I think it'll look really good. Like, I know the pinks aren't super matchy matchy, but I do I do enjoy this set immensely, so. Um I think if I start with start with two. It's probably bad habit that I'm stacking these things on my boards. Just let me do my thing, please. So like, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out, oh, I don't have an extra B for this. What a mess. What a mess. All right. I don't know, also just like, PBT just sounds so much better. I think, in my opinion. I'm just gonna hold it here. Put that up there. All right. I think I made a good choice with putting the cork switches on here. I like how they sound. Big fan. Oh, I do, I did forget to, I gotta dust this a little bit. Pardon the noise. Let's see if I can remember like what all goes. All right, cause this will be, it's like this and the number zero, you know, that will end up being the space bars. I guess I'll just live with it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ahoy did a good Polybius video, although it's like an hour long. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I'd like to check that out. What am I doing? I want to use this spacebar. Or not spacebar, enter. I can, right? 
I should be able to. I think on his build guide, he said that any standard kit should fit. Yeah, because that's... Hmm. Okay. Uh, arrow keys I don't need. I might need some mods in here. Okay. I love my Mac keys. Don't come at me. Though, do I have another? I should. Do I want to use this? I do want to use. I might want to use this. Yeah, it's nice. I do need to warn you. Nice, cool. Um, backspace. I do need a backspace. I think it's usually 1.5, 2.25, 2.75, 1.5 1 on the bottom row. Yeah, so the way that I built this and, I, and the way that actually Qlabier himself recommended is to actually um, build it with split back, which is what this plate is for, step caps. Um, I believe it's 2.25 and 2.75. That way you can use the two shifts that comes in each standard kit and you can still use really any, any other keys with it. So I think that was the idea. So we're just gonna stick with that. That'll go in the end there. Right, do I need any more mods? I have this. No, I think I'm good. I'll put this boy up here. Stepped caps, this one does have, I don't have an LED soldered for that, but step cap is there. Do you need this key? Because that's a shift. So I believe that goes there, maybe? Might need to be longer. I actually think this is fine. Nope, that's too big. Wait, is that a 1U? That should be a 1U. Okay. I'm already loving this color combo. Yeah, I, Con Momo was one of those that were like extras. Yes. So that's a 1U that's supposed to be a different shift. Yeah, the Komomo colorway was really, really nice. I'm big fan, big fan of Komomo. There we go. Okay, mods are done, right? Okay, my hands are already so sweaty. Yeah, when I when I bought the board, I started to find and look watch his like videos that were like how to build. Cause like not cause like then you avoid having to buy extra space bars too. I do need to find another key for that extra beat. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm a big big fan of of the colorway. And then I'll just have to find some artisans to match. If not, I'll uh, put in some extra keys on the right, on the left there. I know my directions. Don't worry, I'm smart. I think it would be hilarious to take the wrong, I'll take the Wu Ting 60 PCV and put in a TK case with a custom PCV that adds back the function route. That would be, that would be kind of funny. Yeah. You should do it. Just buy a Wu Ting, see if it comes, and then just like do whatever the hell, like hell you want with it, you know? The world is your oyster. Mm, I I did 
I do really, really like this colorway. I forgot about this. I, this has been sitting in storage for a while. Because I got all the other, like, I got Notion, I got some other, other keycaps. But this one is definitely a favorite. I should just, like, find another bee somewhere and put it in. I don't think this set came with a, an extra B anywhere. Um, let's see. Nope. Nope. Typically these days I only like low profile boards, but really limits me in keycaps. So the previous build that I did, um, I built a Cantor V2 for a friend of mine. And at the very end, we ended up finding out that the um, the work louder caps did not fit the canter because it uses Choco spacing and not MX spacing. So I now have a set of work louder caps that I need a low profile build for. And I've been looking at, um, I've been looking at corn, I do want to see if I can find like a like a little 40% that I could put the Choco caps on, like an ortho build or something like that. I think that would be pretty neat. Alright. The only artisan that I have that's like close to this colorway is this guy. Which works out pretty well. So I might slap him on there. Time for Artisan B. I should, I should get something like that made. That would be pretty funny. Oh, I gotta be really careful with this. Hmm. Come on. Chacos are a nightmare? What? No, but I really want one. That's good. That's good, I like that. I just don't know what else to put. Artisan-wise. Is that... Um, that might actually work. Like that could work, maybe? I wanna save this for something. I wanna put this on that one, actually. Might do that. Are they just like hard to build with? Or are they just like, do you just not like them? I kinda, this actually matches really well. I might switch this out for the other ditto. Hmm. Choices, choices. Looks nice, thank you. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put in terms of artisans on here. The Mr. Suit Artisan I want to put back. I do want to put this... Maybe I'll put that on there, just for the hell of it. Oh my god. <gasps> Though the aluminum on aluminum might be an issue, potentially. It's also really loose. Oh, I forgot about the other Octo that I had in here. That's really nice. Oh, so many choices. I'm not gonna put that there. It's gonna be a pain to remove. I don't want to scratch up the sides. Okay. That doesn't quite. That's like navy. It also this cap is like super loose. 
I would assume typing feel from... Oh, typing feel. Oh, I see. I had MX low profile switches on a Keychron K3. And I, dude, I did enjoy those. I think I had like the browns or something like that. Okay. This one is done. Do a little typey type with this. Oh, that enter is nice. Excuse me. Wow. Big fan. No one makes keycaps for them, really. Yeah, I mean, like, other than, like, Work Louder, and I know from uh, MK Ultra that make keycaps for them. Yeah, they can be a pain to find, like, key sets for, for sure. Okay, so the Alice is done. So this one is gonna be <sighs> the big boy. I currently have the uh, MT MT3, right? That's the profile caps on them. And I don't think I'm going to keep them there. Ooh, or I put this set on here, swap that badge out. But then where would the pink hangul go? Maybe the pink, okay, this is fine. Yes, beige on the black. That's like a classic look, okay. That's the move, right? And then we'll put this guy here. Oh my God, perfect. Okay, actually that works out really well. Okay, hold on. Now I gotta shuffle things around and move everything away. I love MT3 for flat boards. Yeah. I I do enjoy typing on MT3. I Yeah, I think the incline of this might be a little too much. I really liked them on my portal. I have autumn rings in here now. I don't think I'm going to take them out. Um I do believe I have all the foam configuration in here. Actually, I should check, just so that I'm not, like, talking on my ass at the meetup. I do have PE foam in here. Okay. That's what I thought. I do remember removing foam on some part of this, but I don't remember which piece. So I guess I'll just have to look at the foam. And I can't even do that because like the Pegaso, or not the Pegaso, the uh, the box for the suit where I keep all the accessories is like at the very bottom and I really don't want to have to open that up, so. I guess we're just gonna say that there's all the foam inside. No, I'll check, I'll have to check. So I'm bringing these two.
just as I suspected. I do have all the foam in my miser suit. Because I do remember taking it out to experiment with and then I think I ended up putting everything back. So good for me. I My memory is good, good. I want to put one of the SpongeBob sets from Akko on my NK65 banana for the lulls, but the yellow probably won't match. You could always try and see. That would be really, that would be really funny though. <laughs> Arigato Roboto. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Oh my god, I'm like sweating. <laughs> this is not a good, good look for me. Okay, yeah, because I want to put the Hangul on here. Yeah, the MT3 also just sounds so good. It's so thick. Hmm. Hello, hello, how are you doing? I mean, come on, like... Ah! <laughs> That's nice, I really like that. Oh, that ent- oh, that enter, brother. That enter is crunchy. That is... Ooh, unmatched, unparalleled. Life-changing, I would say. Speaking of demon hours, Ayo. What the fuck was that? Dude, honestly, same, no one knows. Oh my God, I don't wanna scratch this up, but I also wanna sit down cause I'm tired. Okay, I'm gonna sit, we're gonna get comfortable, do some housekeeping things today. Hold on. Oh, I hate that I'm like scratching up the inside of that it doesn't make me feel good okay um do i put these all in one because it's i remember it's the alphas that go here oh well whatever I think all the, yeah, all the mods go in a different one. Who did I get this set from? I got this set from, I think it was my, one of my very first commissions that I built for someone. And we were talking and he was like, hey, I have these MT3 profile caps that I'm never gonna use. Do you want them? And I was like, um, yes. I just thought that that was very nice that he did that. I haven't seen him around, but I hope he's doing well. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, it just sounds so crunchy. I just, I'm obsessed. Honest respect for keeping the boxes slash cases in degen fashion. All of mine end up in a bag and toss in a closet to be forgotten. I have actually been thinking about, um, sorry, I'm all sniffly now. I've been thinking about getting like little containers for my keycaps because the GMK trays are ass and I don't want to spend like $10 each for like something like this, you know? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I do like to keep the original packaging 
especially like the, like the Cobb Momo case I really enjoy because it's the plastic isn't super flimsy like it's actually really nice plastic um jam trays are awful they are terrible and they feel they make my hands feel chalky and I hate that oh it makes me so uncomfortable oh I hate it oh my god how are you doing tonight Rose I don't know why whenever I sneeze I like sound sniffly or like I feel sniffly afterwards I don't know what's going on the little clips always break the little clips yes I was like what is she talking yes it's the little clips also sorry for assuming your gender I just said she I do apologize I've been trying to stay as gender neutral as possible but <clears throat> Got all my boxes, you know, drawer neatly organized, like little Tetris pieces. Nice. Yeah, I have like a, I have a, like an Ikea thing with uh, shelves that I use and it keeps dust away, which is really nice. LMO, yeah, I'm a dude. Yeah, see, this is why I should never assume. <clears throat> never assume. So I think what I'm gonna do for this build, because the autumn rains are supposed to be like BCP or bust, um, I think I'm going to put an actual BCP on the enter and the space bar and see if anyone can tell. So I think that might be interesting. Set my GPU box because it's a GPU and for some reason everyone leaves theirs on their desk to flex even though their GPU is in a computer on the desk. I keep all of my tech boxes. Like when I built my PC, I kept every single box in the event that like I do upgrade and either I sell it or I do something with it. I keep them just in case of any issues. Um, yeah, but yes, they are in a blue Ikea bag on the top shelf of my closet. All my boards are in the graveyard under my wardrobe. No, no. And I have like a little, I like the wall hung Ikea organizer. Um, that's really, really useful. I really like that. Um, and I have two boards hung up there. I feel like I could make room to hang a third but I do need to get the little hooks again, and they're like a dollar, and I don't really go into the Ikea that often to justify the shipping costs for that, so. <laughs> okay, so I think the space bar, yeah, this only houses the space bars, which I think is kind of dumb, but. Oh, Pink, are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping, my baby boy? Oh my god, my cat's laying on his back right now. Are you a sleepy boy? Are you a sleepy boy? Oh, Pango, you're so cute. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, seven you. I think I need to retune the spacebar stabs. So I still have the owl stabs in here, which I, I do enjoy. They work pretty well. I haven't I haven't tuned these in a minute though, and I also I only have 205G0 on these. I mean the two use, this one needs a little bit of work, I think. This one needs work. The spacebar I should have tested before I took it out oh well uh, i'm actually gonna put just for like convenience sake if i do end up using this set again i'll just put all these here only the world's expensive switch loop yeah right and now i've been all the other stabs that i've used i have the bd bdz whatever lube Dragon Ball Z lube or whatever. I should have space for my function row up here. 
can't tell actually. Liquid gold, right. I do have space. Ah, I'll put the function in here. I'll keep all my mods in their own separate places. I like to keep the nav cluster though. Um, like here, that's fine. G-Loop stinks, but I refuse to buy anything else until I'm done with it. Do not use G-Loop. I use knife oil to lube my keyboard and it honestly works really well. I, f I feel like that's not what you're supposed to do. But to each their own. If it works for you, then congrats. I don't know, I feel like knife oil, like, like for, like are you talking about like, for like metal? I don't know if that's, you could probably put them on like your springs, but I don't feel like that's, Knife lube. Hmm. Interesting. Do you make knives? Because that would be really cool. <clears throat> like I said, Hall effects, which is gotcha. So, like, do you make custom knives is the, is the next question that I have for you. Oh my god, I really hate digging into, like, the crevices of the aluminum because it's gonna kill don't personally, but I might eventually. Nice. That would also be a fun hobby to get into. I feel like you would need a lot of specialized tools for that. As long as it doesn't eat the plastic, I guess it's fine. Yeah, that's true too. As long as it doesn't destroy the plastic. Specialized tools list CNC grinder bead blasts oven ultrasonic cleaner aluminum stock titanium stock mm, Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe like a like an angle grinder of some kind. Oh, you already said that That would be cool I watch a lot of knife makers on YouTube. That's why I asked It's very cool probably cost at least a grand to get started. Oh, oh, for sure. Even more than that. I mean, I feel like it's gonna cost a lot more than just a grand. <laughs> Especially with all the, like the specialized tools, you know? That you'd have to like pour money into. Okay. I just wanna listen to it one more time. It's the up that sounds. <laughs> I like that. Most teenagers in the UK have custom knives and they just want to what each other up? Like cut each other up with them? The younger generation is totally screwed. Yeah, see, that's like where it gets kind of dangerous. I, I collect some knives, but I don't go crazy in the knife collecting hobby. Like, I don't have anything that's really expensive or anything like that. But yeah, if I see a nice knife, I'll probably buy it. I actually have some stuff I could substitute and I don't really need anodized anyways. Uh, yes, give me a second. Let me get this off first. Um, 
I have one next to me that I, this is like an old, this is like an old beater knife that I got when I was like in college, which was like years ago, but it's just a, an SOG. Am I allowed to show knives on Twitch? Is that like illegal? Let's, let's get that established before I just whip out a knife. Cause I feel like I don't, I don't know what is allowed and what's not allowed. <laughs> So I want to make sure that I can actually do that. Honestly, I don't know. See, like, I I do want to show you because it would be Call of Duty. Ah, okay. I mean, what are they going to do? Like, come find me? But they probably will. Um, I've had this knife for, I mean, years. I haven't sharpened it, but it's still really good, especially at, like, the very end here. But I've had this one for a while. People do unboxings with them. That's true. I'm a big fan. This is- I've had this knife for the longest time. Um, and then let me grab a couple of my other ones to show you. Be Bingo! Bingo! I mean, like I said, it is a small collection, so don't make fun, please. But, uh... <clears throat> I got how many knives in my Valence CS accounts? <laughs> Taya always got one, so I think you're fine. Okay, good. So, the next one, I got this one for Christmas from, um my partner's sister. This one is just a CRKT. I use this as my box cutter. That was not a bad open. That was also not a bad open. I'm so sorry. I'm like afraid of dropping this like on my boards, so I don't want to like whip it. So this is my usual box cutter for like packages and stuff like that. I keep it on like a cart like a drink card outside, bottle opener, very versatile. James Brand Palmer is a box cutter, just elevated. I also have a James Brand. It's uh, it's the micro or whatever that they call it. It's like the, a little tiny one. I actually use this one at work. So it's kind of beat up because I do use it a lot, but I don't, it's just like a little friction folder. This one I use a lot to cut open boxes and stuff, big fan. You should use a loop and flick with the middle finger. James Brand stuff is nice. It is super nice. They are coming out with a fixed blade um, soon. You should use the middle, like, oh, like that. That's true. I much prefer this because I, because like none of my finger, fingers are in the way. Just because with this, it makes me nervous. Like, I don't know how to do that. Like, I'm afraid of like doing that. I'm not going to do this on stream because I feel like it's, Okay, that feels a little comfortable. I always wondered how people like opened knives. So my my finger can't be here though, right? It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Okay, okay, that's, that's not bad actually. Okay, this one opens really well, big fan. And then my last knife, this is like one of my favorite knives. Very, very small, first of all. This is the Wesson Microblade. Big fan, ball bearings, clip. I bring this with me everywhere. Big fan, I have to clean it, so ignore. It is, it's like the cutest little thing. Big fan. This was, this was probably my most expensive knife. Spidey flick. I see, I don't know how to open like this with my thumb cause I feel like I can't get my thumb into it, but I, so I prefer the finger with this one. They're so tiny. It is really, really small. I mean, I have small hands, so like, it probably seems even smaller, but like, this is like your standard peach tray, right? So super tiny. It's cute. Yeah, it is really cute. I, like I said, it's, it is definitely one of my, one of my more treasured knives. 
Um, like this one I beat up because it does, it just does the job. It opens what I need it to open. I can open up bottles with it. This one I use for work that I probably will no longer need for work because I am leaving that job. So I'll probably use this for something else. I'll keep it on like my car keys or something like that. Yeah, it's my little, little knife collection. I really want a bench made, but I feel like everyone has a bench made, so like... Where's the uniqueness in that, I guess? No, but the bench maids are really well made. Maybe I am a knife collector just in digital format. <laughs> True. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of people collect like CSGO knives, right? I say, not a CSGO player. There's a great reason for that, though. Yeah, I really want the, um, one of their smaller models. Because I just, I prefer smaller knives over a large one. Um... But, uh, they are really expensive, so I don't really, I can't really justify spending the money on it yet, I'll say. I have something like 15,000 worth of knives in CS, brother. <laughs> 15k, brother. That is a lot for a CS knife collection. <laughs> the Benchmade Mini Osborne Gold. Oh, this is not plugged in. I was gonna search it up. Sell them. Can you sell knives on like a video game? Is that a dumb question to ask? I actually, I like genuinely don't know. I might just sell the whole account. Oh shit. Wow. I remember when I quit CS years ago and sold all my skins for 3K just to learn if I held on for a few years, I could sell them close to 10. Harrison, brother. No. Bad call. CSGO, you can't. Interesting. Lets you list them on Steam. Some of the more expensive ones go for like 1K. Interesting. That is so funny to me. Mmm. That is really nice. The mini Osborne. I think, was this the one that I was looking at? Ooh, the Damascus is 700? Mmm, no. Mm-mm. No, sir. <laughs> that's that's a lot. I think I was looking at like the bug out or like the little like the smaller version of the bug out. Holy shit. Ugh. It's meant to be in a case probably. I so I don't even think I've spent $700 on anything. This This, to date, is my most expensive board. And I guess I'm including shipping. Because this came from China, because of Owl Labs. Um, but this is the... For those of you guys who have been here, this is one of my- this is one of the first boards that I actually built on stream. I think I started streaming just so I could build this board and, like, treasure it. But it's got the, uh... Black Chroma back. Is that a, an original G Pro Wireless? This one? It's the G305. Logitech. Or what are you talking about, Dorito? My hands are really sweaty, so please just ignore how it looks, but okay. <sighs> and yes, I'm using my phone to stream. I know. Yeah, this is like one of the coolest finishes. I was like really struggling to try to get this. 
Because when they went on, because round two, if you guys remember, round two, they had a... It, like, we pretty much broke the site. Um, I was talking about the mouse, so I couldn't really see the side. Okay. No, come on. I... I know better than, than that, okay? Dorito, how bold of you to assume. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this was a journey to get... I think me, both me and my partner were trying to get this colorway, or the white and gold. And I thought that I had gotten one, but they were like, oh, we actually oversold by like 200 units. And I was like, what the fuck? So they refunded me and I was like, shit, well, I'm never going to get my hands on this. And then they were like, haha, round two group buy for the people that, you know, we refunded money to. You can now go in and buy your boards with no like time constraint. And I was like, <gasps> what? So I did end up getting the colorway that I wanted and I was like extremely happy. So this is definitely one of those boards that I'm probably going to keep forever. And like pass it down to like my kids eventually when I have kids. Yeah, this is this is this is a special one. Every time I see a G305, I want to mod one. I never got into mouse modding. I would be interested in learning about it. Oh no. I hope this is not a scuff. It might be a scuff actually. Fuck. This little piece right at the Nope, we're good. Ha ha ha. It's another terrible hobby? Oh my god. Oh, okay. That's what Bob does. Okay. 3D printed 305s do be some of the coolest mods I've seen. I just- what is there to mod? I know that you can mod like the- the thing that clicks. <laughs> you like the terminology? Like I know you can mod the scroll wheel. I do enjoy the tactile scroll wheel. Big fan of that. I know you can mod like the encoder. Okay. Okay. So there's like a couple of things you can do with it, right? So it's not all too bad. Oh, I was gonna put some original VCPs. Almost every scroll wheel is tactile, yeah. I have used a couple of mice that had smooth encoders. Big fan of the smooth encoders. Okay. Basically cut the shit out of it to make it light as hell. Exoskeleton has too much plastic 9 out of 10 times. Interesting. Yeah, now that you say it, it is kind of heavy. Like the mouse itself, like the more and more I think about it, you know? I have a drawer of like 700 in mice looking for the perfect one. It's just not a bad way. Oh my god, it's another money pit. Brother. Opposite of keyboards make it light instead of heavy. True. Uh... I think my video is lagging a little bit. Okay, I think it's fine. So yes, I was gonna put original BCPs on like the space bar, I think. Do that, just to make it fun. Cause you never know. What if I like hit a BCP on like a random key and like whoever guessed it wins like a sticker or something. Wouldn't that be funny? I think that would be funny. Doom 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 doom. Doom 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 doom. Doom doom doom. Doom 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 doom. Pulsar. I was looking at the Pulsar mice. They look kind of nice. Mm 
I don't like the honeycomb shells either. I think they look kind of cheesy. <laughs> song reminds me of the PQ Niku OST. Boom, 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 boom. I just really like Pokemon music. Big fan. Should I do another one on... Oh yeah, that's way better. All right. I'm gonna put a random... Hmm... I'm gonna put a random BCP in here. Maybe two, just for fun. Because I do have a good amount of them. I want Bob's X2 mini last week should be interesting when it arrives. Apparently he butchered the thing. Oh, wow. I mean, I have small hands and I definitely prefer small mice. Um, just cause, I mean, even this one, I'm always hovering over it. I'm not, I'm never, I'm never like palming the thing when I use it. Even like gaming, I'm like, I definitely claw a lot more. I also feel like there's a certain level of ergonomics involved with with um, mice, just because it is like the thing that you use the most. Uh, what did I want to do? Okay, hold on. I do want to put an artisan on here. All right, I'll put the ditto in F13. I have a feeling that's just gonna like come right off. Yeah. Why? So some of these artisans are really loose on here. And I don't know why. Bob's videos are always making me laugh when they turn into the sketchiest looking mice. Oh my God. Maybe I won't put, I'll just put my Mr. Suit on here, I think. I wanted to trade this black one for a for a Chroma one for the longest time, and then I just never ended up looking for someone that had it. So, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> So this is like the scary part, just because I don't really want to like scratch up the sides with this. So I'm just gonna be very conscious about. Like the tolerances are so tight, it, like it really makes me really nervous because I really don't want to like scratch this thing up from the inside. Okay. Maybe I'll have to look into Bob modding some mice. Hi, Frank. Welcome. How are you? Welcome in. I think it's a 305 video that looks like he ran it through a blender and then sanded the hell out of it. Oh my god, now I'm scared. How are you, Frank? Doing okay? Feel that. I'm doing, uh, I need some prop. I need, I really need to mod this space, or uh, the backspace, but I like, don't, I'm lazy. How's the build going? Are you excited for the meetup? I am very excited for the meetup. Um, 
it'll it's gonna be really fun. I am very excited to meet a lot of people. I'm excited to meet Fuzz because Fuzz is going, um, and I think we. I mean, I, th I think we started streaming around the same time, so he's definitely like one of the OGs. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see him. I'm just excited to see everyone's boards. Honestly, um, I'm bringing my my three aluminum boards, my portal space, and my Mister Suit, and then my partner is gonna bring my Mino and the Quasi Alice. So it'll be a good time. I'm um, yeah, I'm just overall really excited. Are you gonna be there, Frank? Or is it? I guess it's is it too far for you to make the journey? Oh my god, I just choked. <laughs> Sai, what's going on, dude? It's been a while. How are you? Fortunately, I won't be there. That's okay. Um, but, so this Mr. Suit is built with Autumn rain Rains. I can't say that word. And they're, they're supposed to sound like BCPs. So I'm hiding two BCPs on the board to see if anyone could guess it. Because I, I bet someone's going to be like, something sounds off. And I'm going to be like, well, you might be right. I'm good. This keyboard looks sick. Thank you. I'm actually doing some prep for a meetup this weekend out in West Virginia. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting on some different keycaps. I might mod this one a little bit more, but I don't. that might not happen tonight. That might happen off stream. Um... I'm going to be doing my first build this December. <gasps> what are you going to be building? I want to know. Tell me more. I want to I want to know about this. Tell me everything. Also, I am leaving the fruit stand at the end of this month. <clears throat> Cuz I found a better full-time job and I won't have to work on weekends anymore. So, very excited for that. But tell me more about your build. I want to know. I want to know what is it. Congrats! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, dude. I'm gonna be making more. I'm gonna actually have benefits. It's gonna be a good transition, definitely. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited for that. <clears throat> Okay, I do want to see if there is a not noticeable difference between these. I'm a noob at the building and don't know which parts to buy. And congrats, thank you. Well, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff coming and going, so you'll have to... Yeah, there is a noticeable difference. I think it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be like a little game. It'll be very fun. I wanted to sound like Lego building from the Lego video game. Oh. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Hmm. That's doable. That's definitely doable. I'm trying to think... You might want to go with a tactile switch. You could probably... That might be... That's not a hard sound to achieve. Because <clears throat> you'd probably want to get a tactile... Switch and maybe put it in like a plastic case? Or like a plastic plate, like a palm or like a PC plate? and just like put a shit ton of foam in it. I think that's the way to do it. Sounds like the perfect fit for that Atom case from KBD Craft. That's literal Legos. <laughs> well, yeah, um, I forget what, what was it Melgeek? The foam is a dampener? Yes, the foam is a dampener. 
Metal Geek has a has a Lego keyboard, I think. I was like gonna search it up, and then I realized that I don't have anything plugged in, so that's really cool. Oh my god, my limo's touching everything. Yes, it is Malgeek that I'm thinking of. Okay, thank you for the validation. A Pokemon theme build? That would be that would be a lot of fun. But check this out if you are into stuff like this. Copy, paste. Boop. Enter. Oh yeah, thanks, Dorito. Adam Case from KBD Craft. KBD. Whoops. Do you like this janky typing that I'm doing right now? I'm gonna put the rest of these things on. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Sai, si, if you have any questions, just let me know. More than happy to help you. Yeah, and I think it's actually compatible with Lego pieces, which is really neat. I think one of these days I'm gonna have to take some time and take these stabs out and mod them. It's fun hanging them off to sleep. It's 2.30? Oh no. Be sure to come back from time to time. Yeah, Dorito, of course. I know the time difference is not super fun, but uh... Yeah, thanks for hanging, and please tell Bob that I really appreciate his raid earlier. Have a good night. Is that 21KB? Yes, it is. Good eye. I'm surprised you could even see that, because it's like, so far, it is 21KB. It is the pink hangul. I don't know how to solder. What is it called when they're just clicking? Hot swap? Adam Kid is like $60, and I'm highly considering it. You should. That looks really, really cool. Um, yes, Sai, you want to look for a hot swap board. Mm. Yeah, this is the right one. I was like, hmm. Yeah, and if you ever find a kit that you really like that requires soldering or like is able to be hot swap, just let me know and I can help you with that. Ooh, take a listen. Mm, that enter is so nice. Okay, so let me take... Let me see what other keys I have. That sounds good, thank you. Mac Actress was really funny because they, they did a video trying to find a good keyboard and it had LTT's keyboard nerd. Help them design a keyboard. Sounds like the keyboard from The Sims. Oh my god. That's funny. Do I have an F13 for this? Oh, I don't need one because it's an artisan. Duh. I'm smart. Yeah, I've been looking into getting maybe another set from 21KB. I really want the red Cyrillic or the um, or the green Gaelic. I feel like that those are appropriate colors to have. Um, but definitely the red Cyrillic, I think that looks sick. And it came really quickly. Really, really happy about that. Dr. Panda, hello, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We're doing some build prep for... Uh, whoops. Uh, some build prep for a meetup this weekend, so... Yeah, welcome in. Thanks for the alert, Captain. 
Love this background music. Thank you. I started off like very like lo-fi type of beats, but I've gotten really into like the Pokemon music and everything, so it's a good it's a good vibe. I feel like I've created a good space here. <laughs> Yeah, it's all Pokemon music. I also, Sai, I also recently got into modding Game Boys. So I can play, like, Leaf Green. Because I grew up playing that. And it's really, really fun. I'm a big, big fan. I don't know if you have, like, any consoles lying around, but... It's pretty much just, like, an IPS display that you put on. And then there's a couple of other, like, mods. No way, me too. Harrison, brother. Why are we, like, the same people? Um, did you see- were you here when I did my build stream on my system? I've been looking for a new Game Boy. Oh my god. But couldn't find any. They are harder to come by. You'll really have to, like, you really have to go to, like, your local game store and like see if there's any, um, see if you can just get your hands on like an old one and then start to like mod it from there, you know? But there's a lot of like services that can do it for you. And of course, if you need help, I can help you too. Um. Okay, so how does this go? You have an SP, nice. So I'm part of a, uh, I'm part of like a Game Boy Discord and they do like a, like a Secret Santa, not Secret Santa, but like a gift exchange every year. And I think the guy that I'm paired up with is modding me an SP. I really, I just, I love the clamshell design, but I have a, I have a GBA that I modded. I'll grab it in a second. I'm just, I just have a lot of stuff on my lap right now. So I got my old GBA and I haven't pulled the trigger yet. You should. You should just do it. Just go for it. No thoughts. Just do it. Just do it. I, I will say, if, if you're not careful, it can get a little bit intimidating. Um, especially if you want, like, the... Um, if you want to be able to adjust the brightness on the IPS, like you'll really have to, uh, you'll really have to uh, be careful with it. What is it? It's print screen, scroll lock, and then pause. I don't remember what the layout is. Can someone look at their TKLs and tell me what the what the top three here are, please? And thank you. So I need a 1U, 1U here, IPS looks so clean, it is, the IPS makes a huge difference, and I'll, I'll show you when I, when I get up and get my build for you. No, that's how I ended up with three PCs, three PCs, four plus keys and too many mice, oh my god. Well, you've got to have some semblance of control. But maybe, maybe, maybe we're okay. Maybe we can be okay. <laughs> Alright. Do I want this here or should I have... I want this here. Some different. Some different. Okay. Now I just have to remember where I put the here and R. Cool. I think it's print screen scroll lock pause. I'm pretty sure that that's it. Well, three pieces, two gaming PCs and a server PC. Holy shit, you're insane. That's too many PCs, too many. All right, this build is done. Oh, I do need the little squiggle guy. I don't know where that went. <laughs> All right, let me go grab my GBA real quick.
Do you go to any conventions? The only one that I've been to was PAX East back in 2019, I think. That was the only convention I've been to. And I haven't, I haven't gone to really any conventions recently just because of the times, you know, but okay. So this is the GBA that I built. So I reshelled it. So it's a matte black, got Pokemon leaf green in there. And the, and the screen is just, I mean, like it's so much brighter and it's really worth it. Like if you do any mod, the IPS mod is definitely worth like even with the glare like it's so easy to see and you can adjust like I can adjust brightness on it here like it goes it gets really really bright it does like eat up the battery like nothing though <laughs> so that's like the only thing to be aware of you know the color is so nice I know I know, I'm I'm a big fan of this. I carry this with me everywhere now. Did I speaker mod it? I did not speaker mod it. So that'll probably be the next thing that I do. I've thought about doing a, um, a USB-C mod, but I've heard that there were issues like heating up when it charges. The color pops, it really, it really does. Uh, doctor, these are mechanical switches. I fire red in my SP right now. Nice. Yeah, I grew up playing Leaf Green, and I really wanted to get my hands on Emerald, but that shit is expensive. It's insane how expensive it is now. All right, so this is done. Portal will house Polybius. I do want to switch out the artisan here. Space 65? I know! I love it. I recently built it and I'm super happy. Super duper happy with it. Put that there for now. Guilty ADHD. Pleasure is diving into a hobby and learning about it and then forgetting about it before I even start it. My, this is this is how I got into the modding, the Game Boy modding hobby is because I was like, I saw a YouTube video and I was like, oh, look at that, that's pretty neat. And then I just like spent hours watching videos on it. And then I eventually give in and like buy the parts to do it. So that's where I am. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh, which do you think are better switches? I don't really like optical switches, so I would say mechanical just because of the different like varieties that you can get with them. That's just my opinion though. I'm old, I grew up playing red, blue, and yellow. I only really grew up playing like, my very first console was a DS. That was like the earliest console that I had. So I played Leaf Green, like Super Mario and all that. My first was silver on an SP and then worked backwards. I could probably do it without a video at this rate. I mean, yeah, you probably could. I mean, it is pretty simple. Where did all these go? Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to just clean up a little bit here. Are you getting the new Pokemon? I pre-ordered Scarlet. I sold Silver too. I don't have any consoles to play it on. Well, I do. I lied. I have I have a DS Lite. Not a DS Lite. I have a Nintendo Switch. Switch Lite is what I meant to say. Um, that I haven't really played all too often because I bought it for my partner and they never really play it anymore. So I might, but I also like feel like I don't have the time to. Just because I do a lot of online gaming, like I play on my PC a lot. Um, I did say that I was gonna put more foam in this, right? I did say that. Um, so if I if I had the time, I would. 
I just I just don't have the time right now. Like even like getting through leaf green, it's it's really hard to get through because like I'm playing like on my breaks. You know. I want a mod so bad, but it's easier to just boot up my girlfriend's switch and play newer Pokemon. I mean, but like you have to like know like for the you you gotta do it for the nostalgia of it, you know? You just you just gotta do it. Just don't think, just do it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put another layer of foam in here. I play while I'm working. No, not you taking appointments and doing it at the same time. Mm-mm. No, sir. One, two, three. I gotta remember how to take this apart. Let me think. Okay. I remember now. This is gonna be a pain to have to put back together. It is what it is, though. No, I, uh, yeah, I, with, with all the time that I'm spending right now on, like, literally other things, I feel like it's... I just, like, just don't have time to, like, sit and actually play. I've been gone from the fruit stand for over a year now. Oh, shit, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about it. Sawi. Not me assuming everyone that works there is still there. I feel like no one is there anymore. From... At least that I know of when I left. I feel like no one is there anymore. Hello? Is this coming out? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to assume that that's out. Why did these all come out so easily? I feel like they're not supposed to be this easy. Do I play Pokemon Go? I actually do not play Pokemon Go. I mean, I work from home, so I barely get out enough as it is. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I, I, I don't. Although, yeah, so I'm moving to closer to like Westchester, that area, like at the beginning of the year. So hopefully I'll be a little bit more proactive and like, playing games and stuff like that, but I feel like this needs to, unless I'm just doing this wrong. This should be the right size. Oh, I almost got it. One. It's like operation, I know. Dude, I have a lot of tea about the, the store that I'm at right now. But I also don't want to spill the beans. But like me moving away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm just, I'm a little salty. Tea time. I'm just, I'm just a little bit salty. Cause it never feels good. But like I, I talk to like a couple of people that still work there, but like. I feel like it's also just refreshing to talk to someone that like was there for the experience but not there anymore, you know, so we can like gripe about it together. I just want to make sure none of these screws like fall through. God, I've had this board for like less than a week and there's already like a shit ton of cat hair in it. But you know what? That's my burden to bear. Um. Pretty much. So I've been a tech for 
almost like a little over two years now, I would say. Because if you remember, I started seasonal in sales and then I moved to tech right when everything closed. I don't want to flip this upside down because all the screws are going to come out. Long story short, um, the amount of times that, um, and I by amount I mean at least twice. Also, look, souvenir. Um, from the time that I started at that store to now, so I'm still a specialist, a tech specialist. I've seen two people that got hired while well, one person that moved to tech that got promoted to expert within less than six months of being in that position, he went from specialist to expert in less than six months. That's one. Kind of pissed me off. Two, um, and that this was well deserved because she's been there, she had been there longer than me, but she got expert at the same time I was applying. And then this is really what did it for me. That I was like, part of the reason why I'm leaving is because I'm moving, but also like the bigger part is that it's just this. But uh, someone that had started as a tech uh, during seasonal for less than, less than a year, um, less than a year of being in a seasonal tech specialist position, got expert before I did. So, so like, really, like that's, that's really, it, it was really infuriating to hear that. And I, I'm like, I get it. Like I am part time and I'm only there on the weekends. But like the fact that, the fact that the seasonal person got expert before me, that was really just like the nail in the coffin for me. So I was like, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So that's where I am. Um, so yeah, that's a really fun experience for me. Can I use this magnet? No, I can't. It's not fair. Like, and I, I guess it's just like the situation that I'm in because I'm only working weekends and I'm not there all the time. So like, I don't really get to talk to my connection leaders and like do everything. So that was really annoying. Because they don't care about quality, they just want people they can control their, to do their bidding. Listen, I learned about that as soon as like someone had said that like the store leader was only like focused on like his plan and like the people that he wanted in certain positions. And at that point I was like, this is fucking bullshit. So yeah, Harrison. I'm not gonna let people that were working from home, I'm jealous of, I'm tired of 14 hour days. Listen, you're gonna be, working from home is great and all, but the amount of stuff that you'll be distracted by, believe me, it's not worth it. I worked from home for a little over two years now, and the amount of stuff that I get done is minimal. I can tell you that right now. It's all a game. I'm I'm glad I left. I'm I'm kind of I'm happy that I'm leaving. I really am. Um It is going to be refreshing to leave. And you've been there for like a bunch of years, right? Sai? Cuz this coming 15th, I think, will be my 3 years. So there's that. I was there for eight years, yeah. So I, I'm sure you've seen a lot of, seen a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. Also trying to leave logistics with a decade of experience with, with it is impossible. So that's my main issue. Like shipping logistics or like, what type of logistics, I guess. Three stores? I didn't know that, that you move three stores. And I mean, this is only my second store. 
But like, that's the thing, like, I was only really ever able to work part-time. So I wonder if that was like the big reason of why is because like maybe they were just looking for full-timers, you know? But on both sides, so mainly shipping logistics. I, depending on where you are, I have a couple of companies that I've worked with, with the, with the architecture brand. Um, I don't know if you want some leads, but I can send you maybe some people. I don't really know like exactly what you're looking for. I was doing three person job by myself just to be laid off. Oh yeah, welcome to my fucking life. My full time, that's like literally what I do for my full time. I work probably like three to four people's jobs. But like I'm quitting, so like I have a control of that, you know. What tool should I buy for my build? So you should invest in a good set of tweezers. Um, you should, well, depending on what kit you buy, they might come with keycap pullers and switch pullers. So that's important for you. Um, I would get like, just like a, well, so this came with the build, but I would get like a small electronic tool set with a bunch of different, um, heads. And again, depending on the set that, the kit that you buy, they might have tools included for you. Yes, I fix it, it's great. Like the 24 piece or the 20, the 30 piece would be fine for what you're doing. Like really, uh, what's being used a lot are like smaller hex heads, um, Phillips, pretty much is what you need. An electric screwdriver? I do, I have, I have this. I don't really use it because I am afraid of over torquing. <laughs> So for like super long builds, I'll use this, but I, I don't use this all too often, but this is the wow stick. It comes with a bunch of attachments. Big fan, I got it for Christmas last year. Or two years ago, I think. <laughs> Thing is sick, yeah, it is It is pretty cool. There are some really nice, like higher quality, like screwdrivers that you can get, but if you are on a budget, I wouldn't recommend anything other than like the iFixit kits, you know? With a thanks for doing your best, here's a month of severance unless you want to move your life to new, new, uh, North Carolina, borderline salty. Dude, that's, that's really shitty. That is super shitty. Looks like a dentist drill, I know. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little like a dentist drill, yeah. Alright. I want to reduce aluminum on aluminum contact. So I do want to put this back. Is this the right orientation? Cause spacebar, right? Wait, this looks this looks better. This looks better because all the holes are cut out for it. Okay. Oh boy. They sent it in a mass check and taxed the fuck out of it. Oh my god. I'm 68 applications deep? Oh my god. Yeah, that's like that's like the worst right now is like everywhere has a hiring freeze. That was what we were talking about earlier. But yeah, a lot of seasonal and a uh, lot of seasonal part time. Hot swap or solder. So the PCB itself is a solder PCB, but if you look kind of closely, you'll see that there's like little volcano looking things. So these are hot swap, not hot swap. These are Milmax sockets. So they can turn a solder PCB into a hot swap PCB. So if I wanted to take the switches out, I could. So they're not, so the switches themselves aren't soldered to the board. It's soldered into like a little socket and the socket gives it the electrical signals to register the key click. I don't know if any of that made sense, but that's my version of explaining it. Um, yeah, and then it's, the flex comes from like these little clear gaskets that you see here. Oh my god, this is gonna be really interesting. 
Maybe I'll try it this way. But yeah, really any solder PCB, depending on what you get, can be a hot swap PCB if you if you uh, mill max it. That's like the verb for it. You mill max a PCB. What camera are you? Dude, this is my 12 mini. I am streaming on my 12 mini. <laughs> it focused really well. <laughs> Once I get that 14 Pro, let me tell you, it's going to be better. <laughs> I'm using a 14 mini to stream right now. Because I don't, a uh, 12 mini, because I don't like, I don't have like a professional camera set up or anything. Oh god. So, yeah. It works, it works really well for what I need it to do, so I don't really need anything super high end, you know? That's sick. <laughs> Thank you. It's the little things, you know, like I like I'm not going to really drop a ton of money on streaming equipment just because I don't do this full time. Like I only really stream when I feel like it. Along with the hiring freezes, apparently everywhere is not doing a phone interview, Zoom interview in person. Yeah, that's a lot. Dude, I'm sorry. That's just like a bad situation to be in. But once you're famous, nah, I don't, I don't plan on pursuing content creation as my, as a full time or anything like that. I just do this because it's fun. I really hope that foam is in the right place. Be awkward if it wasn't. Hmm. I think that foam will make it sound a little bit better. Okay, so no crazy like, okay. It do be annoying, but it is what it is. Yeah, like it sh it it shouldn't be though, you know. But you're right. Like this time of year is just really, really bad for it. Um, I don't want to like sound super, uh, you know. But like I'm I'm really lucky to be where I am right now, where like I have some connections in the field. But I definitely feel for you. It is it is a. Uh, it is a struggle for sure. I had a decent Logi admin interview today. Got decent hopes for it. Nice. Well, that's good to hear. Once the new year starts, it'll kick off. Budgets will reset. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it definitely is is hard right now for a lot of people too. Sai, I can't remember what you are doing now. Are you still in like the tech world? What are you doing? What are you up to? Everyone getting rocked for Christmas because that's all I can afford, aww. Yeah, it's really, it really sucks. Support for a company that runs TA software. TA. Something analyst. Technical analyst. I don't know. I'm making it up. Vent over, continue on. No, it's all good to vent, dude. I definitely feel the feel the stress of it. Yeah. Get the fingerprints off of here before I close this. All right, this is gonna be like ugh, the worst part. Talent acquisition. Nice. Acquiring talent. Very cool. I don't remember how old I did this the last time, but I think it went something like... 
this. I just hate how sweaty my hands are right now. It's like the worst part. Hey, Captain, welcome back. Oh, God. Oh, hi, Logic. How are you? Moshi, Moshi, indeed, brother. Worst part for me was accepting, was accepting unemployment. It was one of those I'll never have to do things, and here we are. Yeah, that's it. Definitely hits your it hits your pride in like a different way, you know. Like during like in the middle of 2020, when everyone was like laid off. My partner was laid off for like the well for the time being because they eventually went back to work. But they worked for a frozen yogurt place, so like literally no one went to get frozen yogurt during that time. But they were on unemployment for a good amount of time. And like the worst part of it was just like sitting at home not doing anything. Cause they're super antsy. So it's always like they need something to do or else they'll like go insane. Realize that if I got into a if I got a custom keyboard, I would complete the holy unholy trinity custom keyboard custom mouse audio file. Oh, I haven't gotten into the audio file world yet. I have a pair of IEMs that were super cheap on Amazon, and that's really about as far as I will go into that cursed hobby. Got my chain the other day. Ooh, delicious! I want to see it. Have a blast typing on it. Complete nonsense, but still typing. I love that for you. Frozen yogurt is delish though, true. Kiwi frozen yogurt, that's where they worked. University City, baby. Don't. I know, I won't. It's worth and you'll move on to home audio. If you're missing one more from the Trinity, if you count mouse, keyboard, as peripherals, photography. I got into film photography. Guys, it's bad. Let's stop talking about this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna end up buying more film than I'm ever gonna need. <laughs> There's just a lot right now. There's too much. As an IEM user myself, it took me like 10 sets of headphones and went back, brother. I need to get a DAC and amp for my HD6 because someone gave me a four pin XLR. I know what some of those words mean. So, oh, you are already broke just talking about it. Dude, it's bad. After I got into film photography, I got into Game Boys and I really, really don't want to dive into audio files, audio, like audio equipment, but uh, looks like I'm gonna have to. Also, this board is nasty because my hands are sweaty and I really don't like this for me. This is not a good. Just bought AirPods Max a while back and said good enough. <laughs> Wait, you should have let me know though. I have discounts you can use. <laughs> use my discounts. <laughs> oh no, dude. Should, look, should I look on Amazon for parts or which website should I go to? Um, Amazon for like tools, other things, I will message you offline about. Um, there's a lot of different sites to look for things. So you just have to, you just have to know like, like the reputable brands, I guess. Yeah, but I'll let you know offline for sure. If you, you still use Discord, right? If you do, I'll, I'll send you a bunch of stuff on Discord. You're probably going to get really annoyed, but I'm going to send it to you anyway. Got mine from my buddy that had too many. Fair. Um, I have thought about getting like an amp, I think. I'm in Discord, send away. Okay, I will. <clears throat> I, um... Hmm. I really like the meteor whites. I was gonna say something and then I forgot. Oh, I want like, I do want like a high end listening experience. So I do want to get like an amp and like maybe like open ear headphones cause I don't have, I've never used open ear headphones before. I've thought about doing that, 
and I looked at how expensive the ants were, and I said no. Um, I like joked with my partner the other day. I was like, "What would you do if I just like all of a sudden I just like bought a car and just like started modding it?" And they said that they would probably divorce me. And I was like, "You know what? That's fair. That is more than fair." Oh my god. Harrison, how are you in every expensive hobby to ever exist? Br what are you doing? Are you okay? Blink if you need help. Oh my god, dude. Blinking constantly. I... oh fuck. Oh my god. Not me dropping a screw upside down in here. Ugh. And I don't- can I like shake it out? Is that gonna be an issue? Okay. Yay! Here for a good time, not a long time. Big mood. We ain't got a lot of money, but we got some toys to play with. True. Does the magnetizing just like not work or am I just doing it wrong? Hello? I'm trying to magnetize, not demagnetize. Or whatever I'm supposed to say to cover up the depresso. Some screws are non-magnetic. I these are though, because I've been able to pick them up. I wonder if it's this that's giving me issues. My friend's dad learned I was starting to get into the hobby at the time, gave me a free pair of Ooh. So that's like a surefire way to get into it. I went a bit hard on keyboards, but no shame about it. Yeah. I went very hard on keyboards. Not good. Would not recommend. I went too hard. But I do... It's been... It's definitely been rewarding, for sure. Like, do I regret it? Sometimes. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. So. It's the friends I make along the way. You know? That's like, the important part, okay? Currently looking at a $1,200 record player? Brother. I have a little Audio-Technica turntable, nothing fancy, hooked it up to a pair of cheap bookshelf speakers works fine for me and i mean i don't really use it all too often which is bad but my partner got it for me for one of my birthdays the audio technica and then we started collecting like vinyl whenever we can and i have a little tape deck which is really nice big fan of it i only regret buying my q for pool a couple years ago and never played a single game with it Okay. Is that like, okay, is that like a ludicrous thing that people do? Like they buy their own pool cues, you know? Keep comparing its edifiers to see which I'll never get. <laughs> oh my God. Not the custom pool cue. Like it's gotta have some type of magnets. Some of them work and some of them don't. Turn to leave and started secondhand shopping, thrifting. Surprisingly, only have four hundred dollars invested in my audio corner. That's not bad. Yeah, I've been thrifting a lot. I've thrifted actually a kind of a nicer film camera, which I'll show you guys in a bit after I'm done building this. It 
If you've played at somewhat competitive level or collectors, yes, you'll need your own queue. Mm, gotcha. And they're really good ones, or at least a few grand. Hyatt is over a hundred thousand dollars for a queue. Why? And I mean, I'm, I am curious to know. Sorry, I didn't mean that for it's, for it to sound like, Ugh, you know. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Materials, yeah. Because I guess they're long too, so they they can't, you know, bend or whatever. And now I'm into bowling, brother. What is up with us? What is happening? Can I see your other keyboards if you have them once you finish the one? Yes. Yes, I will I will show you my other keyboards that I have. Um let me make sure. <gasps> no 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 no. Five hundred dollars on an XLR setup. Okay, so maybe I won't get an amp. I'll just be okay with listening on my AirPod Pros. I'm just gonna live with that. That'll be fine with me. I can't even justify AirPod Maxes. XLR isn't insanely expensive anymore. Oh, it's just dumb. <laughs> but it's sold, so it's on record. I got Max for working from home. Oh, nice. That's neat. Hey, that went in the right way. Nice. Okay. All right, let me look at this ridiculous pool cue, and then Sai, I'll show you some of the other boards that I have. Pull up to the club with that cue knowing you're about to win. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me see this. Holy shit. Intimidator, the ultimate fantasy cue. One of a kind cue design. 1800 hours of hand engraving, hand etching, and hand machining. That is pretty dope. How would you use it without cutting yourself? Question one. Um, Wing blade details. Wow. Inlaid with gold. I get it why it's $150,000 now. Would you take the wings off to play or is it just for decor? The important questions. This one's 75K, but more regular, more regular looking. Okay, see, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like natural materials. Okay, yeah. That is very, that is very cool. It is very expensive. Wow. I don't know how you guys find these ludicrous hobbies to partake in, but good for you, I guess. <laughs> that is a lot. Uh, looks like D&D &D character's weapon. I know, that first one is crazy. Um, so. Sai, this is my smallest keyboard. It's a little 40% with just uniform profile keycaps. I need to make sure the screws are all tight. And it's got an OLED display. When I plug it in, it plays like a little game of Tetris, which is kind of neat. And it shows you like your words per minute, which for me is like 40. <laughs> the colors, yeah, the colors are really nice. And the milkshake, uh, this, the colorway of the keycaps fits really well. Big fan. Um, and then I have my Alice style board, which is uh, like an ergonomic type. So it's a lot more comfortable. It's super comfortable to type on. I'm a big fan of this one. Yay for Alice. Yay! We love Alice. This is uh, stacked acrylic. So the other one, one was stacked acrylic. And the rest of my boards I have are metal, aluminum. Yeah, some of these... So these are... I wouldn't recommend getting into artisans because it can be really expensive. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend you go into this hobby. Bottom line. <laughs> yeah, the ditto, the ditto is really nice. Jumping on bear v2. I really want bear v2. I would kill for arrow keys on an Alice, but I cannot justify the price of that. <laughs> I'm about to buy that Aurora Kiwi. Yeah, I bought it third um, aftermarket too because I didn't win it, but I just I really like the colors of it. Um, so this is the other one, and then I don't know if you've seen like my quote unquote holy grail. But this is one that I built, I think, when you first came in. It's the TKL that I have. And it's got, uh, like, a PVD black chroma mirror finish. This this thing is also, like, four pounds. It's so heavy. So it's really dope. Yeah, I I love this board so much. It is definitely one of my, one of my favorites. And then the other one that I have that I'm also going to be bringing to the meetup. I'm going to put this PE phone back real quick. Eh. Okay. Is uh, the portal. <clears throat> so this one is like a more... This one's a bit more unique just because of the mounting style. Like this whole, the whole PCB take uh, comes out because um, it's O-ring mounted. Mr. Suit is sick, thank you. It's actually the black chroma combination logic. Um, but this is, this is really nice because this whole thing comes out. Oh, I do have like some foam in here, or polyfill, I would say, just for sound dampening. Yeah, so like instead of using like gaskets where the top and bottom of the case like sandwiches the PCB assembly together, um, this is using O-rings around like the PCB assembly and it just like friction fits into the case. And I have a layer of the keep tape, which is, um, oh God, I really need to clean this. This is kind of gross. No one look. Um, it also has, adds a layer of dampening to the board. Twitch just torched the formatting. What do I use the game on? Oh, you're not even ready for this. All right, hold on. Okay, so I use a lot of uh, mouse space. So I bought this kit that I built. Please be like, no, I actually have one, Harrison. So I use this. So I sometimes will just use this half and plug it in up here and just unplug this so I don't have to use the other half. But it's essentially like a 65% layout. <laughs> Yo, Sai is like, dude, you are, you're, I bet your mind is blown right now. <laughs> yeah. But this is what I used the game with. It is it is flat though, so I had been looking into like feet that could potentially tent it, so that it'd be a little bit more comfortable. But you need to come some dude. Yeah, there is a meetup in Philly, um, but it's not gonna be until like later next year. But yeah, you should you should totally come. It's it's such a fun time. Can you 3D print feed for it? I'm sure I can. I don't have a 3D printer, so I'd have to really either look for like pre-made feet for it, but yeah. But damn sandwich case, man. <laughs> Alternative, wrist rest, true. I could also get a wrist rest for it. Yeah, but I, uh, 
Yeah, I have I have a good amount of boards. <laughs> it's uh, not not good. Brain slow. That's okay. This one I'm gonna put on the corner here. This one I'm gonna keep because I do have to work on it still. Okay, keycap time. Richard doesn't exactly fix typing angles if the keyboard is flat. Yeah, that's true. My fingers are faster than my, my thoughts. No, it doesn't. I I don't know. I've been thinking about a couple of different ways to um, either tent it or at least elevate it at some point because it is starting to, I mean, it probably is fine for the time being, honestly, if I think about it. But yeah, I don't actually- I don't use wrist rests all too often. I... yeah, I don't- I don't know, I don't- because <clears throat> I guess I move around so much that, like, I don't really need one. I have some keyboard stands for my office, but I only have my Logitech. G915 and MX key TKL. TKLs are, like, a classic layout. Like, if I didn't like 65% so much, it would be TKLs. I don't like 75%. Don't like the way they look. Not a fan. Okay. Oh boy, I am getting sleepy. Oh, not allowed. Okay. I do want to put some and build three Pokemon, Sailor Moon, and one I have not decided on. Oh my god. <clears throat> Should I use a black space bar or a gray space bar? Or a uh, enter. So I want to use a black space bar for sure. Mm, I'm gonna do a black build. Boop. There's so many different um, Pokemon builds though, Sai. I feel like you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. No Kazlov? I don't actually use that board. I'm telling you, if you want it, I will- I will literally just give it to you. I like- I do not use it enough. I don't even have any switches in it right now. And it's- it's so hard to type on. You know? Do they have keys that are... Chrome? Uh, yeah. Not standard- I wouldn't say like standard, like, keycaps do. But definitely, like, custom artisans, you can get some really crazy ones. Yeah. <clears throat> you can get some pretty pretty wild ones with those. Still give you a corn, even though it's a little scuff with the micro. Yeah, just- also just let me know what's going on with it, so maybe I can try to fix it. And if not, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Just tell me where to send it. If you want to, well, here's the thing. Make up your mind about what you want to build and then I'll just give you my address for everything. That way you're only sending like a couple of things directly to me, if that makes sense, you know? Um. I was gonna do, hold on, let me think. I have to think about where these go. This is menu. Okay, so that's the right profile. The right side micro is just loose because I dropped it moving, but if I hold the cable to where it connects, it works perfectly. Hmm. Okay. I'll take a look. It might be super simple, like you might just have to re-solder or reflow a joint. But 
But yeah, just let me know. I can never tell if it's the right profile. Like, I really have to, like, compare it with the keys. That doesn't look like- I mean, that actually looks like the right profile, right? Up, down, menu. Deciding- sorry, I'm like deciding what keys I want to put on here. I assume maybe some solder broke or not and never got around to taking it apart. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. Is it a solder PCB or is it a, uh... Or is it a hot swap PCB? Let me take some Chinese lessons real quick. Dude, I used to be able to read Chinese really- Not really well, but like well enough. And I like have no idea what any of this says. <laughs> um, solder? Okay, what switches are on it now? I'll take it apart here soon and send some pics. Okay, yeah, just hit me up on Discord, I guess. <gasps> You know, I kind of- okay, I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot here. I liked it without the foam, because it sounded quieter. Now this just sounds like every other board. It probably will be fine. I just- I just really don't want to open this up again. I, I might take the foam out. Shit. I was really- I kind of liked it with just the plate foam. Well, let me put the alphas on. Let me put some alphas on first. Cherry browns? Oh my god. Ugh. You're gonna make me desolder a whole board of cherry browns. This is fine. I don't know, like, without the- without the foam, it sounds too quiet. But it's like, with the foam, it sounds like every other board that I've heard, I guess. I just- I don't know, I can't. It's still really muted, though. So it's fine. It was my first little project! Okay, I'm sorry, I won't make fun of you anymore, I'm sorry. I got cherry hyperglide browns. It was pre-built for me and I'm dying. You know, I really want to try like the butter browns or whatever. But uh, yeah, apparently those are supposed to feel really nice. But I also don't like tactile switches, so I'm just going to be wasting my money. <laughs> Once my TX long pulls uh, stabs arrives. Whoa, what? TX long pole stabs? I'm building Zaku's on PC plate? Nice. I don't know anything about switches. That's the hard part of getting started is like you don't know what you like yet, you know? And like, it is it is hard to get into it. Um, you may have to just buy like one or two. Or like, if you're on Reddit, just go to mech market and see if people are um, selling like switch samplers or whatever. Get a couple for yourself and see like which ones you prefer, you know? I was gonna slap some zeals in it and scuff them. You know what? True. Good choice. That was a good, good idea on your, on your end. Okay, they sound better. I think it was just my, it was all in my head. Bad seat text would just look cool for being long pole. I, again, I, if I could like, and I really wish I could like tactile switches, I only really like the mallows, the KTT mallow switches, cause they're like a super light tactility. I might like the pewters, but other than, like, what I've tried on the, uh, 
yeah, tactiles are hard for me. I prefer to dive in and spend a hundred dollars on switches and then find out I hate them. Looking at the Halo, Halo clears. I had to make someone Halo or not Halo clears, but I had to make someone a Franken switch, and that did not go very well. I mean, it did. But the guy ended up spending a shit ton of money, and I was like, oh my god, brother. Alright, hold on, let me see. The brown sound amazing. High pitch clack, it's just not loud enough for my sound profile. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll like them. Oh my god, brother. That's my that's my signature catchphrase. Have tangies in my else, forget how nice linears are. I okay. I don't like tangies. I don't like them. I don't know, maybe it's like I also am like very peculiar when it comes to color of the switches. The orange and green just doesn't it doesn't do it for me, you know? Heavy hand and fat finger a lot. That's why you switched to 80 gram springs, baby. Got banana splits and hated them. Gave them to my cousin. I did the banana switches. Uh, the banana switch. The banana splits were were the very first switches that I bought, and I thought they were like the coolest things. Um, and I ended up not liking them as much. I did like them for the time that I've had them. I mean, I still have a bunch of them. They just, they just do not sound good in like, in like a fully foamed up board. If they were in like any stock board, they sound fine. They're so quiet. They are really, really quiet. Yeah. Refer to my diving. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, th those were like the very first things that I saw and I was like, that's cute as hell. I love the colorway. Let me buy like a hundred of them. So. That's where my head was at. Okay, I need to find these mods. Okay, so this is control, I think, is what this says. Nope, that's too long. I knew it. Right, this is control. And then I need... Uh, one, two, three. This is, I think this is, this means what I think it means. And then I have this and control. If I'm gonna be using this for my Mac, then this goes here. Okay, but I'm not. So this goes here, okay. We did it. You know, this, that sounds pretty good. I, I, I really enjoy the Meteor Whites. I like them a lot. A Chinese little prison sees that it's all wrong, brother. I know, just watch someone at the meetup is gonna be like, that's in the wrong position. I'm like, you know what, I don't care. I like the way the letters look. It's, it is really quiet. Once you, once you use a long pole on a keyboard, it is very, very difficult to go back to like a JWK switch. It is very hard. Like, I just wanna put autumn rings in everything. I mean, let me see. It just sounds. Like, even here, like, it's still so quiet. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I... I just have to get a bunch of long pole switches now. Zaku and Holy Panda ruined all other switches in linear and tactile for me. I did not like the Holy Pandas, and I do not like the Boba U4Ts. It was way too bouncy. Like, like the tactility of it, I like could not stand. 
I did have a set that I used for a minute, but I was like, this is way too much for me. If you're illiterate, just put keycaps in a different language so it looks like you're confused because, uh, not because you can read because you just can't read the keyboard. I do need to read the keyboard though or else I'm not gonna know what I'm typing. <clears throat> Is it just me or does it sound a little hollow? Okay, so, um, I have plate foam, so between the plate and PCB. I do not have the PE foam. I have the sound dampening foam and then a lay and like a very thin layer of the insulation foam. So there's, I guess, two layers in the mid case and nothing at the very bottom. It could also be the room that I'm in. I don't really have a lot of sound dampening in the room. This one sounds a little... This one has a black cherry pie in it. This sounds really nice. Big fan. Sounds pretty solid to me. Also, can you believe it? I used to type like this back in like middle, like elementary school. Maybe it's when the mic was away, could be the room echoing. It's, it's probably the room echoing. Cause like I said, I don't have a lot of, I don't have anything really in the room. It is carpeted, but I don't have anything on the walls. And then, yeah, the, the portal, um, oh, I never showed you the back of this. Boom. It was this or the, like the, it also like a black chroma type of, type of mirror finish. So it's really shiny. Oh yeah, slowpoke. Uh, right... There we go, right up here. Boop. Yep, five hours of relaxing Pokemon music. That's what I have in the background. Sheesh! Hi, Fuzz. I done did it. I think, I, I think I'm ready for the meetup. People are gonna judge me for my crappy stabs on my Mr. Suit, but I also haven't used it in like a year or so. Setup review? Maybe one of these days I will. I, but my desk is just very messy right now, and it's gonna change because um, I do have to set up a bunch of different things and I have to remove some stuff from the tables. One of these days I'll probably do a setup tour. Tour. Um, I don't know. I again, I don't really make a lot of like content, you know. Like I don't, I don't want to be like Sam Pack, you know. <laughs> That guy's got it. He's got all the setups. Um, but yeah, I think that'll just about do it for tonight. I mean, I streamed for a really long time. I'm usually not. I'm usually, I usually don't stream this much. Oh, I want to show you guys the camera that I got. Hold up. So I have, I have the Minolta X700, which I got. As long as you're happy with the boards, it's all that matters. Yeah, it is, Fuzz. For real, Sam, Sam packed the setup man, true. Bob doing Friday stream 12 plus hours for no reason. I just, I'm just tired all the time. My first film camera, I love this thing. Um, I'm still learning how to shoot on like aperture priority. So I just have everything on program for now. I do have color film in this. Um, yeah, it's in like really great condition and I got it for pretty cheap. And like, it's in really, really great. I'm super happy with this camera. And some of the photos that I took last summer, um, I got developed 
looked really, really nice. And then this is the one that I found this past weekend. I haven't heard of this before, but I think I'm gonna put black and white film in it. It's a, um, I believe it's a, an automatic focus. 35 millimeter, looks pretty cool. It's autofocus too, I think. Pokemon Snap. I didn't grow up playing Pokemon Snap, or like, I, I remember playing, is that the one where you took pictures? Cause I think I played that one. My dad used to be like a semi-professional photographer, got one of his old cameras, nice. I haven't gotten really much into digital shooting. <laughs> I've been doing more like film, um, but yeah, like I said, I haven't really gotten around to going out all too often just because I work from home and I work on the weekends, so it's really hard for me to go out and do everything. That's so cool. Picture time sure is. I'm gonna, you know, for I'm gonna bring this to West Virginia, take some pictures. Borrowing his lens because the one that he had with it can't autofocus. I also have an autofocusing camera. It's also a Minolta. But I actually haven't used that one just because I, I, I don't know if I can get used to the autofocusing, but I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit more gentler with me. Also, look at the flash. <laughs> it comes up. I just think that that's neat. Hopefully the bulb still works. Um, I haven't really put batteries in it to test it yet, but it's not like I can return it, so. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I am also very tired, so I do want to see who's streaming. So we'll just send you guys along. We'll take a look. What uh, what type of camera is it, Captain? Is it a film camera? What brand is it? <laughs> I don't like this new like tag feature. Like I know it's like makers and crafting, but like. Oh, okay. Interloper is live. I don't know how long he's been live for. Cool keyboard cable? Yeah, thank you. This is, um, the style of this cable is called a Lemo cable. This is one of the more expensive, oh my god. I'm gonna, sigh, I just want to apologize in advance for the amount of money that you're about to spend. Um, but this is a, Jesus, a Lemo cable. Um, paracord with uh, text flex or whatever. Looks like a lightsaber, it does, and it just disconnects like that. So if you have multiple uh, cables, you can just swap it back and forth. It's really used in like audio. So there's really no need for this to be on a keyboard cable, but. Um, but I got this from this guy on Etsy. And he's really cool. He's super responsive. He actually fixed this cable for me because I had an issue with it where it would intermittently disconnect. Um, and then I have another just like a straight cable. I used to have aviators and then I didn't really like how chunky they looked. So I ended up getting this and it matches really well with this whole thing. So I'm very happy with it. Interloper's been live for like two and a half hours. Okay. So maybe he's probably getting off too soon. I like the chunk, that's fair. I really like the uh, YC8 cables. Those I think are pretty neat. I mean, Fuzz, do you think Interloper is gonna be done soon? I just wanna send you guys over to someone. Um. I don't know, who do you guys want to go watch? You don't know, guys. 
He's building a board still? Okay. So we'll go say hi to Interloper again, I guess. Yeah, because most of them... Gentleman 65? I don't know who this is. But it seems like he's building a board. Aww. I think maybe this is like his first keyboard, maybe? I'm gonna raid a little, little guy. Okay. Gentleman 65. Let's go see what he's up to. So, his name is Jonathan. 21 year old college student pursuing bachelor's in management information systems. Passion for playing video games and building keyboards. Both of which I do on stream. Perfect. Let's go and say hi to him. I don't have a raid command, so just do what you will. Um, 65 implies he likes keyboards, fair. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me. Um, I really appreciate it. And thanks Bob for the raid and we hit 200 followers, which is great. So we're gonna go say hi to Jonathan and I will see you guys, if not at the Novel Keys meetup, see you guys the next time I'm live. Cool. All right, I will uh, see you guys later. Have a good night. Goodbye.